All right, everybody, how's it going? Nick Hudson, nickhudson.com. So, Blade X, abs, part two. That's what we're doing, part two, right? Abs, we're gonna do a little bit of core again today. So, come on over, let's start. All right, put these blades under whatever you want. Door, weight tree, it goes under weight tree, it goes under any piece of equipment. It all has a quarter inch clearance. That's why we did an eighth inch thick aluminum, space age aluminum. All right, here we go. Now, remember how I did these in the first video? They were ab anchors, right, for your feet. Here we go, we're spinning. Now, go ahead and pull on them, right? Get a little resistance, and we can do our leg raises. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Try to get that butt up if you can. If not, this will be just fine or flutters, chin up. Okay, if it hurts the neck, let's just go back to the legs, touch there, bend the knees. Those are your adaptations. Remember, you can get all of these products, the equipment that we're using today, you can get them in the description of the video. It's minimal. We don't use a lot of equipment, right? Because we don't need to, baby. He's perf, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, these things are made to be on the go. Office, at the gym, traveling, at home, put them under a door, on the go. All right, these bands that we sell, put them on anything. We'll go on anything here. A weight tree, totally fine. Let's do some rotation. Oh yeah. I like to do these on one knee. Engage is a little bit better. I'm forced to do it. I don't get to use my lower back. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I love these bands. They're just the right tension. We got different poundages too, so. Oh yeah, let's switch it up. Get the other side. Take the other knee. Here we go. These will go on any anchor. Heck, put them on your kitchen counter, man. Tie them with your lazy Susan, for all I care. Mm. Oh yeah, love the rotation. <sighs> lots of core, lots of core today, man. But we need it. Uh, we gotta protect the back. We gotta strengthen the hips. We gotta get it all, baby, yeah, okay. Good, that's our rotation. Okay, now, come on with me. I'm gonna put suspension trainer in the description, so let's go. You guys don't have a suspension trainer? Just put them on the blades while they're under the door. Put your feet up on top. This is a little bit harder though. Once you put those feet in, because they move. All right? So, just get the foot in there. All right, here we go. Various different ab exercises you can do. You can bring the knees in. Oh yeah. Uh, and what I might do, I'm gonna bring the blades into this. Better grip, feels better on my hands. I don't like being on my knuckles. All right, here we go. Now, we're not doing push-up handles right now. I'm doing some core work. Bring the knees in. We can also lift the hips, do a little scissors. Okay. Uh, any one of these exercises will do, man. Because it's about stabilization, right? It's about recruitment. Recruiting all those motor units to stabilize you, okay? Bring the knees in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, much better grip for the hands and the wrists. I like it so much more than knuckles. So much more. And you can twist these things to, you know, Make it easier on your wrists. All right, there we go. Three more for good measure. Yeah, all right, good. Now, <clears throat> check this out. All right, we're gonna put them back. All right. Oh yeah, we gotta use one of these today. Swiss rolls. All right, so here's the deal. 
I can use these to anchor my feet. Now, I've done this too where I've anchored them for low back. This is a core exercise, by the way. Hamstrings, glutes, are you kidding me? All day long. Yep, anchor the feet and get that low back. Now, I'll probably do this one more on a low back day. So, what I'm gonna do is just roll, baby. Just roll to the side. Oh yeah, get the obliques, baby, get the obliques. Anchor the feet and get the obliques. That's the key, that's the key. Yeah. Uh, 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 make sure you get a good stretch. Good stretch there, all the way down. Uh, and try to get as high as you can. It's a killer, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I like that one. I like that one. Let's do the other side. You can make these a little easier by not being so far off the ball. So you're just on it a little bit. Yeah, oh yeah. And also holding onto the ball makes it a little bit easier too. So, but you can get that oblique if you just give it a little squeeze right there. You don't have to be so far off the ball to do these. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I feel it more when I got both hands out. Uh, uh, you gotta stabilize. Okay, got it. That's one of my favorites. Now, you guys eat Swiss rolls? Not those little cupcakey things, man. Swiss rolls. And by eat them, I don't mean fall. I wanna see you roll it out, baby. Roll those out. In fact, this is the easy version. Let's do the hard version. I just kind of put these feet up. This is a lot harder. Why? Because the blades move a little bit. The ball moves a lot. Oh yeah, get those circles, baby. Change directions. Make the alphabet A, B, C. Spell your boyfriend's name. Angelo Catania Kowalski. Something like that. Side to side. Yeah, side to side. Front to back. They're screaming. Dang it. Let's go. Get it. That is Nick's abs. NickHudson.com. High performance products. High performance fitness. Check it out. Subscribe on the YouTube channel. I love you all. I gotta go. Let's go.